love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to Ben's Song for Peace, and get ready for a blessing. So blessed are all those understanding that every single Every single tear has a smile behind it, just as every tree is known by its fruit. And our most blessed fruit of accomplishment has always been for all of us to have a, an impulse to become something. Something. we got to become something. If we don't become something, we're not going to be like nothing. <laughs> don't do it. So let's reverse the curse, Ben says, uh, for we all have to have some desire for uh, self-fulfillment if we are to succeed in life. Musicians like Ben Carroll, he must, he must make music. Artists must paint. Poets and writers like him must write. I am a writer. I must write uh, if we are to be at peace with ourselves. Um, even the most peaceful kind of peace, uh, that, that only comes unto us when we are loving to ourselves. This is what we need most in this world. Uh, and for this reason, Ben rightly says that no matter what it is, uh, no matter what it is, uh, that no matter what we choose to believe in, that the teaching of unconditional love alone is the most potent and most powerful one of all. For only the power of love alone easily brings any of us to the overflowing magnificence of our beloved Lord of Love's most heavenly beneficence beneficence, and it's a sure thing that the magnificent treasure of excellence of love can only really replenish itself if we're willing to give our love away, for love isn't even love unless it is given away as freely as our best wishes. And for that reason, uh, Ben laments and cries over the truth that it often, unfortunately, seems like unconditional love is just one of the hardest kinds to maintain for any length of time. We let bad attitudes get into our heart and mind. And the most ironic thing of all is that absolutely everyone, without exception, wants to be loved unconditionally uh, deep down, even if they won't admit it. And yet, very few people are able to love very few other people with a divine kind of love. But if you really love some someone, you're going to forgive anything that they do. This is the truth. And as this healing music therapist, um, he therefore says that the truth is that the that any unconditional love must begin with unconditional love towards ourselves. For only once we can love ourselves unconditionally, only when that happens can we finally start seeing our very own unconditional love reflected unto others. And with great confidence, Mr. Carroll, uh, a son of the United States, uh, like myself, I'm born in Detroit City, Daniel of Windsor, uh, he unashamedly proclaims that the kingdom of heaven is within all of us. If only we would uh, know where and how to look and how to gaze through our own heart's looking glass so that we none of us will ever need to look through a glass darkly any longer. And his advice to everyone on such a peaceful road is for them to become resolved, to move towards, make a resolution, uh, to, to move towards such a beautiful uh, realization of unconditional love if people really want to hit their happiest place within this unloving world of terrible self-condemnation. Uh, in these days, it is foretold in Isaiah 25 that the Lord wants to remove all shame and guilt from each of us. Uh, and in these days, um, Ben says that we all need to allow, allow ourselves to see and to experience whatever comes up without any judgment so that we must learn to believe in ourselves as we allow love, faith, and hope to become our brightest inner guidance as we increasingly become kinder unto ourselves and others. Only then can we really begin loving ourselves a little bit more by and by. 
And only then can we finally become a true mirror of love to reflect peace's blinding light and love's blinding light of uh, arising kingdom age hopes out into all corners of the world. Uh, and the reason that Ben Carroll is so passionate about the divine sound healing that he performs is because he well understands that it's just an aid designed to help us to release old patterns, emotional and behavioral, uh, which are no longer serving us. And as people relax and, uh, uh, and release themselves into such beautiful angelic sounds, only then can they really start easily letting themselves see and experience what comes up for them without without any uh, uh, questions, without judgments, without condemnation, just acceptance of what it is is what it is. So make your very own day and set the intention to release all non-productive fears that does us all a heck of a lot more harm than good. And for that reason, the wise will finally learn how they can cast away all of their former paranoia uh, from living in this life cast it away by their perfect love being activated by hope and there is much hope uh, in this world if only people would have a little faith and love love will always win so blessed are all those of open hearts for uh, people like like Ben uh, passionate with their flame of love alive moving forth as a little child people of, of love uh, that want to express it uh, they come to see that the more sand escaping from the hourglass of our lives uh, the clearer that we should be able to see through it uh, and because of this truest truth of spiritual clarity uh, Ben rightly insists that raising our love's vibration to such a hot-blooded place is is ultimately the most powerful and potent thing that any of us can do for ourselves and for each other. And as a singing bowl musician, Ben knows very well uh, that the verb-like action of raising our former cold uh, and noun-like weak vibrations of love waxing cold always brings us in line with higher frequencies so that we can become not just warm, but we can get fervent and passionate and heated over love, peace, and hope. These things are available to all of us as we ascend, Ben says, up to a much higher place, a spiritual place of peacefulness that goes far beyond all tranquility and former serenity that we thought we have known. It is beautiful ahead. And uh, it's time that the crystal clear truth uh, that Ben speaks about is true that love is that love alone helps bring loving spiritual people new prospering energies uh, that can permeate our solar system to bring so forth so much change on our planet that our foretold golden age ahead will naturally begin manifesting all over the shrinking circle of the earth. So Ben says, please follow your hearts. Listen to the intuition of love from within and don't allow external influences to shake you from your peace peaceful course. The, the Holy Spirit will be the wind in our sails and the tide of his blessedness is ahead. So we must leave the, the safety of our former shores, go out to the deep. Uh, he brings us the priceless pearl of great reward. But believe in yourself first, Ben says, and then all else will come through. For if any of us, uh, any of us are only free, free indeed, when we start allowing ourselves to be free. And truth, above all, can set us free indeed. So quit putting yourself, Ben says, into any boxes that only ends up spawning ignorant ways. For there is no darker gross darkness than the ignorance of our desperate need for our very own self-love to thrive. So stop judging yourself and being far too hard on yourself. Many people go all their lives two steps forward, one step back, and everybody steps back. So don't be yourself up. Uh, God allows us to go backwards so that we can learn from our mistakes. So trust the plans of love within, uh, of your higher self, uh, the light of peace that our, our Prince of Peace uh, has 
uh, sparked within all of us. And then allow yourselves to become finally the person that you always have wanted to be. And along such a beautiful road of peace, please stop and smell some flowers as you enjoy the journey. Take time. It doesn't all have to be hurry, hurry, hurry. Happiness is yours to have. Uh, you just have to allow it. Believe in yourself. And he really hopes all beings can learn to be peaceful, happy, and safe. May all beings awake to the light of their own true nature. May all beings of love be free indeed, for peace comes from within. And peace is the, the only logical choice uh, that we need to make in every action we take and every thought that we allow. For it is really true that peace begins with how we think uh, of and treat other people. Peace begins with the resonance, resonance that we put out into this world. So please, Ben, ben begs people, please choose kindness and compassion over fear and anger. Choose self-love and gratitude over worry and anxiety. These are choices that we can all begin making each and every day. Sometimes it's difficult to, to break former patterns, and that's okay. But being aware of your thoughts and your actions and the resonance, resonance of those thoughts and actions, it's a good start. Be kind, be compassionate for yourself first. And say a prayer for the world that all people will start to feel kindness and compassion for others in these days of the refiner's fire that make many people better and many people better. Recently, Ben wrote that he came to realize how much he really has been longing for an experience of innocence and purity making a comeback throughout the world. A world like John Lennon once described in his song, Imagine. So imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It's not hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. No religion to. Just love and peace and hope. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say that John, Ben, and I, Daniel, from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, you may think that we're we're all only dreamers, but we're not the only ones. And by the most beautiful spirit of unconditional love, we hope someday you'll all join us and the world will be as one and become a brotherhood of love, hope, and peace. And then Ben and I believe we really do or else we wouldn't be making any recordings. Uh, we believe that we can all prosper in the world together of no more ulterior motives, no manipulation, no greed, no corruption, just people living and expressing joy at face value as our love flows. And it is foretold that it will fix this world. Happiness, freedom, harmony. Can we find our way there? Say yes. Say yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Holy, holy, holy is such an imagination. And it's really all going to happen anyways. The kingdom age has been foretold. And it is and will always be a time when the lamb will be laying down with the king Leo of all Leos. As that roaring lion of Zion roars louder than ever before, that we are beings of light. And Ben has learned that we're all here to experience the spiritual and physical perspective so that we can help in bringing change to this world. And he adds that all people who have their love lights on as little children are doing just that, whether they realize it or not. So blessed are all those discovering that an arrow can be pulled out of a wound, but a hurtful word stays forever in our hearts. So be kind to yourself and be kind to others. How could we love anything uh, in our great beyond, even a God, uh, if we can't love those that we can't see? How are we going to love someone or uh, something or whatever you conceive God to be if we can't see him? Take care, and I wish you best, and so does Ben. Come on back now, you hear? And I hope you enjoy this song for peace that he wrote on and performed on uh, uh, October 10th to 2020. God bless.